It happens every year on the coast of Antarctica. Weddell seals gather in colonies to give birth to new pups. This is the tale of a champion Weddell mother who in 31 years produced 23 pups. Using data gathered by the Weddell Seal Science Project, which has tracked and counted seals for more than 50 years, we can show her location from birth to the last time she was seen, along with locations of three daughters and two granddaughters. She was born in 1983 here in the northern part of Erebus Bay. Two years later, she turns up again, some distance from the nearest breeding colony, but already unusual just for being here. Most pups don't survive their first few years, and only one in five females makes it to adulthood to have a pup of her own. Three more years pass before she's seen again, again at an outlying ice crack, not in a breeding colony. Then in 1989, she locates at the Hutton Cliffs Colony. Still not a mother, but surrounded by dozens of other seals. And then the next year, her first pup, a male. She's seven years old, a typical age for a new mom. Her first daughter appears in 1991. This daughter would go on to have 18 pups of her own. What follows are years of high productivity. Each blue dot marks the birth of a pup. Green dots show a seal is present, but not breeding. Red dots mark the birth of females who went on to have pups of their own, while diamonds show births accumulating over the years. Now watch the dots as the offspring of this one seal family become more numerous. Notable in 1995, our champion mom has pup number five, and her first daughter, not yet a mother herself, turns up miles away at Tent Island. The next year, 1996, two pups are born, one to our old mom and one to her first daughter. This is grand pup number one. Weddell seals normally don't breed every year. But this old mom goes 16 years without a break. In 2003, at age 20, she has twins. Three years later, a granddaughter shows up at the Big Razorback Island colony and has her first pup the following year, the old mother's first great grandpup. Otherwise, almost all pups in this family were born at the Hutton Cliffs or Turtle Rock colonies. Twenty fourteen is the old mom's last year. She has a daughter and disappears from the record. But three of her daughters and two granddaughters continue to have pups. Thanks to years of data collection, we know so much about these animals, and yet questions remain. What makes a champion mom in the first place? Does she pass important survival characteristics to her offspring? And then what becomes of them? Does a pup coming from an unusually successful mother stand a better chance of surviving and finding success in its own right? Do her age and experience at the times of their births matter to her pup's own chances for success? How important are the ever-changing environmental conditions of the world in which they live? These are the kinds of questions we seek to answer and continue to work on using data like that shown here for many thousands of animals over multiple decades. <laughs>